welcome back everyone to another R-Type NRG and here we are with one of, I think this is one of the best games in the series R-Type Leo and it's got an interesting sort of a side story to this game uh, it's a few firsts as well in this one and uh, this one actually came released after um, R-Type 2 but is actually retconned as a uh, prequel in the storyline and when it was originally released on the arcade in 1992, obviously by Irim, uh, the founders of the R-Type series, lovely little intro sequence there. Um, it was coined as a spin-off, really, and uh, didn't really match up with the um, storyline of what was going on in R-Type 1 and 2. Uh, you got no force, for instance, in this version of the game. In this version of R-Type, should I say, you've got these little things, Cybits. They resemble the sort of the, the bit that you get uh, in the later games, in the earlier games, should I say, uh, that floats on the top and on the bottom, like a protection device. But this is all you get in this. You don't get the the force at the front. You also don't have the wave cannon. Instead, you can shoot out the side bits um, in, a, in a manner. Um, I can't remember what they call that. Um, they, they, they have a name for it where you can shoot the side bits out instead. Uh, bit cipher, that's it. They call it a bit cipher, so you shoot them out and they, 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 they lose their energy. You can see at the bottom there's an energy energy bar, and that is the, basically the energy bar of the cybit. So you can shoot them out and they will home in on an enemy and destroy them and, and drain their energy. And then you can call them back to you, you might, like you can with the force in the earlier games. So this was originally just a spin-off. And it was never ported to any of the home systems, which is a surprise because, um, you know, our type made it to a lot of the home 16-bit, 8-bit systems. But never, and of course, uh, the PlayStation 2 as well, and PlayStation 1, with our type Delta and our type Final. But never got a port, never got a home port, which for me is pretty, um, pretty tragic, really, because this is the sort of game that I think would have been excellent on the 16-bits. I thought, I thought, I would have thought the Mega Drive and the Super Nintendo, and especially the PlayStation, would have done a really excellent job in uh, porting that uh, R-Type Leo over. So originally it was just a spin-off, but then um, if you play the game R-Type Final, uh, the storyline sort of uh, retcons itself to say, no, 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 this is a, a prequel. The events of this game happened before the first R-Type. Uh, so make of that of what you will. But here we go. It's got some excellent weaponry as usual with these brilliant uh, green lasers. My favourite weapon laser in the game this definitely I mean the the red laser the claw laser as they call it is extremely devastating but this one is good it's got massive great over-the-top bosses as usual with the Baidu bosses blow his arms off there we go it's as tough as nails it's actually I feel it's a little bit easier than the traditional R types uh, but saying that though that's that's not saying much really uh, it's still nails hard oh god nearly got a wave laser facey Full there, I don't know what I was saying there, and nearly again. Oh, he's gone. Still got the same weak points. These Baidu never learn, do they? They've got these great big glowing eyes that stick out of their ships, and oh, shoot here! This is how you kill me. Great little vertical sh vertical scrolling here on the second stage. Great music again. I mean, our type games just really nail the music every time. Fantastic stuff. The reflective laser on this, the blue one. It's kind of a, an early version of a reflective laser. I don't think that's much cop in this game. There's really the two, two weapons you should stick with are the, the green homing laser and the claw laser. I love the fact that if you move shift forward a little bit, the, uh, the bits will fire part of your weapon back, which is really handy. There we go. Just done the bit cipher there. Shot them off. And it's destroyed a load of enemies on the floor. Like a backdrop there. Fantastic uh, scrolling as well. Really good environment as always with R Type. This is also an interesting one. It's also the the last R Type to be released as an arcade machine. So it was only released as an arcade machine, and it was the last one to be released as an arcade machine. So another little uh, interesting sort of a side there. Oh, smack there. Crack them. As you can see. Also, the spawning very different. Um, in the original, in the original game in R-Type 2, once you're dead, you start off from a, from a waypoint. But in R-Type Leo, that doesn't happen. You actually respawn instantly where you are, which again does make it easier. Um, so you can collect your collect any weapons pretty much straight away. There's no sort of uh, backtracking on yourself, having to go through all the absolute barrage of crap that you've just destroyed, just to get killed and go back and do it all again. So I'm gonna, there we go, blast them with the side bits, beautiful. 
very satisfying as always. All our types are so satisfying when you get things right. So we're going to play this through to the third level which I think is aesthetically brilliant. Third level, really nice. I like all the intro sequences on this as well with the synthesized speech and it's it's presented very very nicely indeed. I mean, all like I say, all the R-Type games, especially on the arcade, presented excellently. But R-Type Leo has got this sort of like real charm to it, which uh, sort of sets it apart from the others. I wouldn't say it's the best, um, not at all, because the, the function of the force is uh, you do miss it, um, but uh, you can definitely have a lot of fun with this game. That second boss was absolutely piss easy. Gone. <clears throat> Area 3, the tropical forest. This is a tough level, but gorgeous looking. Really lovely. Lots of organic shenanigans going on. Fantastic. Like I said, the only regret about this game is that I wish it had been at least attempted to be ported to some of the home systems. Maybe 92 was a bit late for the 8 bits, of course it was. But it would have been nice to see a PlayStation version of this. Um, and maybe even a Super Nintendo and a Mega Drive version, certainly maybe even a PC Engine version. I might be hedging my bets there, but certainly if I'm going for I'm plumbing for the PlayStation version. Um, I mean, I think the Saturn would have done this well. I, I would have thought, yeah, I definitely think the Saturn would have uh, done a good job of this. It was uh, good at shooters. So that would have been an interesting uh, thing if that were to have happened. But alas, we are left with the arcade version, which is obviously excellent interesting sort of organic effects going on here. It is a tough game. This bit is particularly difficult. Whoa. Alright, just cap off that guy. Whoa, look at that. Ho oh, ho ho, that was satisfying. I don't think there's any I don't think there's any version of Dog Keratops in this game, which is a bit of a shame. I mean, there's enemies, there's boss fighter enemies that look similar, but uh, a bit like this chap coming up at the end here. He's got the sign of uh, the same, same kind of sort of uh, weapon attack thing going on, with a big main beam and a sort of fire laser thing going on. So, uh, yeah, maybe um, strangely absent from the game is uh, old Dog Keratops, who seems to appear in nearly every version of our time. Great effects going on here. So yeah, definitely one of my favourite uh, R-types. Here you go. Big eye. Where do we shoot? Mm, I wonder. Is it that thing there? This is hard. Ah, oh, it's hit me with the fire already. And now I'm down to just my side bits. As you can see, you can get your side bits back straight away as well. That's another thing. Which is nice. Oh, smacked again. Can I, can I cap this guy off? Oh, nearly. Ooh, I see a lot of fire coming towards me here. Oh, that was so close. Come on, a few more hits. He's got to be dead. There he goes. So, there you go. That is R-Type Leo on the arcade 1992 by Irim. Fantastic. Often uh, overlooked and often forgotten uh, game in the R-Type franchise. But definitely one you should check out if you haven't had. It's rather fantastic. Thanks a lot and see you again. Nova Bug. Out.